Welcome to the Connect Solutions featured demo. Today we're going to give you an overview of the capabilities of Connex. We will show you the following. Importing metadata into the CDD. Connex integrated security and how that works with your existing security. CDD level security. Table and column level security within the CDD. Lastly, we'll show you real-time access of your data, in this case RMS data, in Microsoft Excel using the Connex Excel add-in while showing you the capabilities of our Connex integrated security. Connex offers real-time data access to over 120 mainframe, non-relational, relational, desktop, cloud, big data, and in-memory databases on all major platforms. Connex provides connectivity via ODBC, OLEDB, .NET, or JDBC to any legacy, non-relational, or relational data source. Modernize the accessibility of your legacy systems with a web front end. Use ANSI 92 compliant SQL to access all the databases in the CDD, regardless of type. Using Connex, you can connect to disparate systems using a single point of connection and easily join data from these respective systems. For this demonstration, I will be accessing RMS data. First, we need to open the Connex Data Dictionary application, which you can see I already have opened on my screen. We will be creating a new CDD today. We have many different uh, ways that we can import the metadata depending on the database that you're going to connect to. Today, I'm going to be uh, importing a COBOL file definition for an RMS database. Now, as you can see, we've now read in the COBOL file definition. We have a database and we have an underlying table. Now, when we take a look at that table, we see that the RMS file name specifies unknown file. The reason for that is the COBOL file that we imported uh, into the CDD does not define the location of the data file for the underlying RMS table. So we have to manually input that information. And then when we go ahead and tab off of this, we'll be prompted to log in. And this is to validate the location of the file. Now when we look at table columns, we can see here that we have broken out the file layout into a virtual relational table. You can see all the column names, the data types, the native data types, the SQL, associated SQL data types, offsets, lengths, precision, all of the information about the underlying structure of the table. Once we um, on the table indexes tab, uh, as you can see, we have an index indexes that are defined. Once we enter the file name that I just previously did and we were prompted to log on to the VMS system, not only do we validate that the data file exists where we put it, but we also read in the indexes that exist within that data file. Now what we need to do is go through and save the CDD. We have our own layer of security, which we call the Connects Integrated Security, which enables us to have a user ID password combination to access the CDD, which in turn can then log on to multiple servers to access data. Here we have the area where we can add users to the CDD. For this demonstration, I'm going to add two new users. And we're going to give each of these new users a password. Now here is where we can map the users we just created to log on to the servers with different user credentials. Your end users never need to know what your server-side login credentials are. As you can see, our mic account has no credentials to log on to the Alpha One VMS system. So we're going to set that up and it's going to use the Connect75 user account. And we're going to set up the test account to do the same. We also offer NT integrated security, where the user's login credentials to get onto the machine will be used to access the CDD. Once the server-side credentials are entered in the database account management area that I just showed you, the user will not be prompted for any login afterwards. 
You also have the ability to create groups and, and add users into those groups for use with the table level security module. We will be touching base on this shortly. For the time being, I'm going to create a new group called Demo and we'll add the user Mike to that group. Add Mike in there. Within the CDD itself, we have a, a security that can be set up. Maximum CDD security. This will force anyone trying to open the CDD in the Connects Data Dictionary application to provide the correct password to access it. We default the access within the CDD to be read-only. So simply stated, if you want the ability to write back to the database, you have to uncheck this option. We also have the ability to set the CDD access def or default access to none. What this does is truly shut down the CDD. The user access to any and all tables will have to be defined on the table level. You can also choose to disable the Connects integrated security. This will force the user to log on to the server where the data resides every time they access the data. Now I will show you the table level security that Connects provides. We're going to go to the table security tab for the customers underscore RMS table and we're going to add a restriction to the user test so that when they query this data they will not be able to see the customer phone call. So we'll set the user to test and we'll select the column to be the customer phone column. We'll leave everything unchecked, meaning that this will not be visible under a select when they run a select on this table. I'm also going to add a restriction on the demo group to where they can't see the table at all and won't be able to access any of the data. So we'll set the demo group as the user and we'll leave the SQL column set to all columns and leave everything unchecked. The table level security of the CDD will override the CDD level security that I showed you just a few moments ago. So through this you can enhance or restrict user and group's abilities on specific tables and as you can see you can get as granular as the column level. Let's go ahead and save this CDD and let's proceed on to viewing some data through Microsoft Excel. We have a brand new add-in for Microsoft Excel that makes the process of viewing your data within Excel much easier. As you can see in Excel we now are up on the menu bar with our own uh, entry connects. So we want to highlight that and we'll select create new connection wizard. Now what we need to do is we need to put in the path and select the CDD that we want to create or connect to. And let's go ahead and select that. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the user ID and password that we want to access this data with. For this initial connection, I'm going to use the account that has no restrictions on it. That's going to be the Connect75 account. And we can see that we can access the customers underscore RMS table. We'll select next. This will finish the creation of the connector for this, um, this, this query that we're going to run, which is a select star. And as you can see, when using the Connect75 account, we have all of the data all the way over to the customer phone um, column. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a brand new workbook, and we're going to use another account, a new account. So let's go back in, and we'll create a new connection, and this time we're going to use the test account that is going to have just the ability to see the data without the customer phone. And again we can see the table so we'll select that. We'll create the next connector. We'll just call this underscore one for the friendly name. And yes we'll say yes. And as you can see, we have all of the data with the exception of the customer phone column that has been blocked out based on the setting that we had put within the customers underscore RMS table level security for the test user. And for our last one, we're going to go ahead and create one more new spreadsheet. And we'll go ahead and use the uh, Mike account, which is in the demo group, which has been blocked from accessing this table at all. So again, we'll select the CDD and we'll use the mic account and go to next 
and he doesn't even have the ability to see the table. Because of the table level security that was placed on the demo group, which Mike is a member of, he cannot even see the table to even make uh, run a query against it. Now let's talk a little bit about what you have just seen. Connects capabilities. Providing real-time read-write SQL access to relational and non-relational legacy business information using ODBC, OLADB, .NET, or JDBC tools or applications. Accessing all company data through a single point of connection, giving you the capability of connecting disparate data sources that could not be joined previously. We give you the ability to access your data faster, cheaper, without extensive programming and without disruption to your existing systems. Connects advantages. We easily adapt to all environments, enabling your organization to scale from project to enterprise, from two-tiered to n-tiered, and from one to many data sources. Maintains your investment even when moving data from one application platform to another. Those applications will continue to work as designed even though the data has moved and the data structure has potentially changed. Ease of use. We designed this product to be very simple to use. Connects can be installed and ready to use in about an hour with our Connects technical support assistance. Where Connects stands out. Distributed Query Engine. We distribute query processing between the client and server and perform joins without sending duplicate data across the network. As a result, the work is done on the machine that is best suited for the task. Connex is vendor neutral because it employs open standards architecture. We do not lock your enterprise into one proprietary solution. Using Connex, you can combine related information from different systems into one true enterprise-wide view across the IT structure of your organization. As your business requirements evolve, your data sources can change independently of your desktop or environment. We would like to thank you for joining us today for the Connects featured video.